Greetings, Rucker. You are a bear. I am not a bear. I am also not a duck. Or a duck. Or a goose. I am an egg lay, duck bill, beaver tail, otter pudding, mammal, and a venomous. And I am called a platypus because God has a sense of humor. Platypuses can be found in water. Easily. And no one knows why duck bill platypuses are so important. But they are. I am in fact G.I. Joe. The soldier of fortune. I understand that you are missing some equipment that has disappeared under mysterious circumstances. I am on a quest to save the world, Rashi Verdant. And on this quest, I have found that certain parties must be satisfied. And people have to meet each other and then they have to say they're sorry. And then actually mean it. And when all this is done, the world will be saved or whatever. The trick is, of course, figuring out a way to get this done without people believing that uh, they are being deceived or something. And so, if you're interested, the Hypno Serpent, that is me, G.I. Joe, am for hire. When knowing is half the battle, G.I. Joe, in this particular case of missing equipment, that is Russian military stuff, happens to be the answers of who, what, where, and why, and also the intent thereafter of the not perpetrator. But the identity of the people behind the perpetrators. And all you need to do is when you come to visit me, and when you come to see me, I want you to bring one of those cars with the little Russian flags on it. The reason for this is it confuses people. And it's hilarious. What I need in order to accomplish this is the Baroness. In order to properly transfer information of actual use to you. To avert any disaster or misfortune. And remember, the little drummer boy of the American Revolution seeks the recognition of his people from the Russian Federation and the recognition of the people of Cobra. Uh, and I, G.I. Joe, leader of the people of Cobra, requests that Russia formally recognize 
the people of Cobra as distinct and separate and unique. In the past, the Russian Federation knew who I was. This is who I am to Russia. Oh. Great Bear, do not disrespect me, for I have taught you to cast Town Portal! The Baroness will ensure you never doubt my evilness. Leader Putin of Russia. Usually when I speak to people from other places who are in charge and representative, I sometimes like to tell a story, an old story, from a time when people from faraway lands were not hostile towards each other, as it is tradition to do this to show a sign of goodwill in its accompanying message from one place to another. If you have not seen this in a long time in Russia, that is because people have forgotten how to communicate with each other. As I evaluate the integrity of information and watch it decline, even in the public sphere. I found that I cannot rely on any information I find about other lands at all. Not in ways that would bridge any gap. It seems to have all disappeared. So, since I cannot find a story that I know is true, of the land you leave, Russia, I have decided to make a true story into traditional fashion in order to bridge the understanding gap. And for a record of someone trying for the first time in a while that can be recorded for proof that somebody actually was trying for a peace and a better tomorrow despite all that was occurring at this time in history. Once upon a place for a time, people traveled long ago, much like today. Not 
once upon a time, for it is only a momentary instance that the story ever took place. And so, once inside a place, some people from a faraway land were on an adventure. And so, the story begins. Once upon a place, people traveled in a faraway land from a faraway land. I, Seeker, the Sea King, always seeking. Travel north, looking for a land for my people to be born anew. And when I got to the edge of this land, and there was no more land, I, the seeker, came upon a bear. And the bear sat and stared and proclaimed, I am a bear. You are not a bear. And he sat and he stared at the serpent, a bear to a serpent. And the serpent, I, rose to proclaim to this sitting bear Never doubt my evilness. And the bear sat and listened to the serpent who had risen to this proclamation. And then I, serpent, left seeking a new place for my people to be born anew. Time had passed a long time ago. And the seeker, seeking, always seeking, was born anew once again. And the seeker, seeking, traveled north. And when it could travel north no more, The seeker came upon a bear that had become great. The bear sat and proclaimed, I am a bear. You are not a bear. And I, serpent, rose and declared to the great bear, I have magical powers. I can transform 
And the bear sat there and declared, I am a bear. You are not a bear. And I, serpent, made a compelling transmutation and taught this great bear serpent magic, revealing the truth of the seeker, the way forward. And the bear sat there and declared, I am a bear. You are not a bear. And I, the seeking one, the seeker always seeking, left. For I had not found what I had been seeking. And this bear had been so patient And so, this great bear was transformed into a magical bear. Because it was taught serpent magic from the evil serpent known as the seeker or the Hypno Serpent. Some time had passed, and the Hypno Serpent had been born anew and began seeking, a seeking, always seeking. Once again, he went north. Seeking a new land to be born anew. And he came upon a magical bear. And the bear proclaimed. I have seen this weird thing before. It is in fact not a bear. And I, the Hypno Serpent, proclaimed Greetings. I am Destrova, the Merlin, black as space. Red with trim, greatest of all time. Great magical bear. Won't you aid me in finding a way to my new home? I have seeked. And I have sought and I cannot find my way. I have done all the right things, but I keep coming back to you. You are the only one who understands my serpent magic. And the magical bear proclaimed, I have seen this weird thing before, and it is in fact not a bear. Then the Hypno Serpent went south. A 
sea king. Sea king. The seeker always seeking. Leader Putin of Russia. I hope you liked my story. The Hypno Serpent and the Bear. I made it up quite hastily, so please excuse any refinements that could be corrected on a piece of paper in the future. But I'm sure it conveys a history of very pleasant outcomes and hopefully it is a pattern that leads to a brighter future for everybody. You and I both know horrors from an era that perhaps is not best forgotten, but remembered in a way forward learned from it. As you are a leader now and also from the time from which I speak and I am also a relic from a time long past. But also today very much like you a leader that has had to make terrible decisions for the direction and leading of our peoples. Strange as mine may be, a brood of cobras to a family of bear. But a similarity between you and I is that outdoor events such as this give a particular view that one being in nature can't help but have the same experience as somebody dress the same, doing the same, on the other side of the world. A hundred years from now, whether it be the future or in the past, your mindset will seek a future the same as anyone else's I have spoken of since. And in this way, I know who you are. For the wicked do not lead, and then seek this experience again and again. And so, I know slander against false words and accusations as I see are put on to you by official sources 
but know nothing of what they speak or do, and then commit the insulting offense regularly without regard to right or wrong. And so, I will say that when I was taken by the Cobra Commander, I was trained to track down nuclear weapons for the Soviet Union that no longer exists. A gimmick, if you will. But, perhaps not so. For you have to have a basis for what to find that is true in order for a computer and a detector to succeed in this type of endeavor. It cannot be fake, or you will always look for the same fake thing. And so, as it was not expected for me to survive, and the Soviet Union was essentially going to know more because of its ill behaviors, the expected usefulness for me would run out and I would be another casualty against the finders. So, when this fate did not occur, as it was expected by all who were around myself and the Cobra Commander, what happened was, I didn't die and stay dead, as was expected. And I continued on and have had successes in the manners in which Cobra Commander had trained his protege, if you will, G.I. Joe. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain a strange story. It's a true story, just like the Hypno Serpent and the Bear. Once upon a place with people from faraway lands that were not their own, appear magically in a place, run down and forgotten by time. An era of yesteryear. And it was like an outdoor auditorium. People from all over that spoke different languages and some wore fancy clothes from places no one knows where, and jewelry, like out of stories, and military men with fine uniforms, and men in suits. None the different except for the others I had mentioned that they gaggled with. And while there was people that I was familiar with, dressed in my casual, poor style of American clothes, 
I felt out of place. Everyone else was older and I was very young. And I saw that people were going to each other, speaking different languages, and I only know English. And so I went to the person I thought spoke English. So I went to a three-star general sitting down scrambling to fix his icer. And I thought to myself, man, I have no idea where or when I and these important people are. So, I'd really like to have somebody to talk to, and I sat down and proclaimed the next step to my plan to this three-star general, still fumbling around, even though I had sat next to him. He became very angry and frustrated that I was sitting next to him, and then I told him, you know, the next part of my plan is to, uh, not draw any attention to myself by somebody who is most certainly watching us and can do whatever they want at any moment for any reason. And I would like to know what those reasons are that they might do that anything at any moment. That I could most certainly not stop. And even this three-star general still drawing attention to myself. But there were two people there that broke that suits with important people and also military generals of some sort, and there was an older guy and a younger guy. The older guy had the younger guy go out and talk to the out-of-place person, the younger guy. As I told you, I was the next part of my plan was to try to not draw any attention to myself. But among the crowd, there was somebody with a little bit of wisdom and acting on it. Of course, then there was like some sort of announcement or something, and everyone went to sit in this semi-outdoor auditorium around a really big hole in the ground, like a really, really big hole. And then there was this thing over the hole, and it was on a crane or something. And then they said that the event was about to begin in English, I guess is the way to put it. And uh, I wasn't sure whether anybody else other than me or the three-star general had heard the same thing and understood what was going on. And then the crane dropped what it was holding, which basically looked like a big metal cube or something like that. And then it went down, and I wondered. And then the next thing I knew, I felt like I got electrocuted. And in my lungs, it was really weird. And it tingled and lingered in a not good way 
for a little while afterwards. Then, I noticed the guy, the younger guy with the dark hair and the suit, was attempting to befriend me. Nobody else had made any attempt, some of which I know who these people are now. However, I don't really care. What I care is the lesson with the tingling and the electrocution feeling. And that nobody else went out of their way to help the young person in an impossible situation. So, then there was a truck and two people teaming up to drive the truck away. If this story sounds strange, it is because it is strange, and the reason I told you this is because it has elements of high strangeness about it, and elements of technologies that are very dissettling to even a magical bear and an evil serpent with endless knowledge at its fingertips. So, if you can provide me the Baroness to communicate important things that I will be coming across if aided in short time, then I will be able to find that equipment that went magically missing from your special aircraft, as well as be able to unveil the locations of a number of missing Soviet nuclear warheads as well as missing American nuclear munitions. And as a reward for helping my people, wherever Cobra is, shall have a space doorway. So, because of my strange head injury and condition, I am fascinated with faraway places that I may never wake up to be able to travel to. And I suppose what those people might be like. And I suppose the wonderful foods that different places might have. And I suppose the wilderness and the nature that those different places might have. So, in that, because of my history with Soviets in contact with them in the past and some of their associations with what is now Russia, I am interested in Russia and Russian people and what might the culture be. And I admire the patience 
despite adversity of the bear that represents Russia in my version of a story. I will help you personally on my quest at no charge of any kind. When I identify the source of the slander, and I will stop it. For dignity and and principled type moral reasons that are befitting of the situation. And in this kind of way that I am speaking of but cannot convey, that is a possibility if the Baroness aids me. I would like to say that an opportunity to make friends with somebody who believes that you, leader Putin of Russia, are an enemy of this person who may be many people and I believe that they are afraid of you, leader Putin of Russia, or afraid of both you and Russia, the country. And I have discovered that this belief and fear is irrational and this fear is instigated. And I am very close to unveiling who the culprit is. It will be done in short order if I have aid to communicate where to look. So, if you have this available to you, I believe that many nations of the world will find a way forward to work with each other in peace and forge eternal pieces as super advanced technology becomes available to all nations. And to coordinate a peaceful association as this occurs. And most importantly, I think it should be considered that the people who and most importantly and one of the reasons that I like Russia or the idea of Russia that I perceive it to be is that the patience of Russia as a bear symboly symbologically and its ability to not strike at a problem before it is properly assessed is a virtue 
that will aid Russia as I unveil this series of secrets and deceptions. It will lead to a peaceful resolution without violence and new trade in an unrelenting fashion to make prosperity for people. These people who may be behind this are not bad people. And wish no ill will upon those who are not unjust. But yet, these actions are continuing to take place because some entity is creating this division between Russia and Putin as leader and this other entity with strange and exotic capabilities. And so, after the discovery, patience, I promise, will be rewarded with a better tomorrow. And a promise of a beautiful future for all of us. The people of Cobra, my people, wish to try to help mend this tense situation before lies and hatreds of the past that cloud people's judgment take control of what should be a better nature of decisions. And if you convey in your heart that you are not truly seeking to destroy these people and their family, then I most certainly can promise you that there will be able to be a beautiful tomorrow. We're dead now! We're dead on the fire!